I thought I'd show you some of the uh, modifications I've made to the bandsaw. First one being the uh, the uh, boot there. Uh, on a windy day, that thing sure saves you from getting a lot of dust up in your face. Plus, it makes this nice, neat little pile all along here, which makes it rather easy to shovel up and haul off. So that's a good one. Uh, two, the exhaust port here was actually pointing forward and handily they just had little screws and you could take them off and point it up or back or down or whatever so we decided to go up with it and we're going to put a pipe on here and get it up above our heads maybe reduce some of the noise too and then on the pull start you see how the 301's at an angle there well that was over here and you had to pull from over here well I stand over there so again just had to undo some screws turn it the way I wanted it and put them back on it, it worked out great and then uh, we added a second, this was the valve that came with the water bottle, and we added a second one up here. So now this one's set for your drip speed, and this one turns it on and off. So you don't have to sit there and fidget with it every time you, you turn it on. So those are all little handy things that we've done that are working out for us. Um, there was a, a fella that had a, a one that he had made portable of the same saw, and he had made some other modifications, but those were some of the ones that he had used, and I was like, you know what, oh, that uh, that works really well, especially this, this drip thing. And it seems like there was one more. I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> oh, one of the things he did is he put uh, quick latches on here, like, uh, like on a briefcase, and I think I'm going to be doing that. I just haven't had the opportunity to go out and buy the latches, so... I think that blade's about had it. It's not too bad, I guess. It's got a lot of crud build up on it. I cut all day yesterday and then decided this morning I would, when I slabbed out this oak, I would, or, you know, walnut, that I would uh, video it for y'all so you could see it. And this is what walnut does to these blades. It, it, that pitch gets on them. Even with me running water on it, it, some of it always gets there, so. But not hard to clean up or anything. So. But yeah, this thing's working out pretty good. I kind of like it. Not to mention that uh, that's a hell of a stack of, of slabbed uh, walnut. I'm planning in the not too distant future. I mean, I gotta wait for some stuff to dry now, but I want to do some uh, slab furniture pieces. And uh, so this was uh, the first batch of slabs. I've also got a, a bunch of uh, Bradford pear and oh heck, what else is over there? Anyway, a whole bunch of different stuff to, to try it out. I actually built myself a little uh, camping bed, and I posted pictures to my Facebook. Unfortunately, I didn't video it, so I won't have it up on YouTube, but uh, it turned out pretty neat. And I used catalpa for it, and then left the natural edges on the tops of the rails and the headboard and footboard, and, and uh, made it real lightweight so you could uh, take it down and stick it in your truck with you when you go camping. And I set it up and actually used it. Last weekend I was out camping through the uh, through the uh, Memorial Day weekend, so had a lot of fun. Did a little bit of drumming, sold a few drums. But anyway guys, I am back. Sorry it has been a while since I've done a video, but I uh, had to get ready for that show and that was part of it. So anyway, one last look and we'll have a good day, alright? Thanks, guys. Bye.